Hey medicos welcome back so today i will bring you the latest update on the world of medicine in today's video we have some exciting news to share with you the national medical commission that is nmc has recently announced a new examination called the national exit test or we can say next so let's dive into the details here i will discuss about what is the next step 1 what is step 2 and what will happen to the interns and post interns at the end we will discuss about the important question that we all have so watch till end next will be a single examination that would replace final year mbbs examinations and neat pg entrance exam thus acting as a qualifying test for granting registration to doctors as well as the basis for post graduation seat allocation so the chapter 1 that is next step 1 the first step of the next is comprehensive computer based examination the nmc assures that it will be based on high quality multiple choice questions despite initial criticism from medical college faculties the nmc has emphasized that this mcqs will address higher domains of knowledge aligned with the competencies expected of an indian medical graduates the next step 1 examination will consist of six subject papers covering various aspect of mbbs curriculum the next step 1 examination will assess applied aspect of subjects like forensic medicine and toxicology as well as mainstream community medicine into relevant clinical subjects each paper will include 10% items related to the applied aspect of respective subjects the exam will be conducted by all india institute of medical science that is aims delhi so here we have the list of subjects where medicine and allied subjects having number of items is 120 and duration is for 3 hours like that we have six different subjects medicine surgery obstetrics pediatrics oto rhino laryngology and ophthalmology so these are the number of items this is the duration for each subjects so next step 1 will take 5 days in day 1 there is medicine and allied subjects for 3 hours then there is 2 hours of break and after that there is pediatrics for 1.5 hours so this is the day 1 after that you will have rest for a day then of third day there is surgery and allied subjects for 3 hours then again 2 hours of break then after that there is a oto rhino laryngology for 1.5 hours then again break and after that ops and gynecology then ophthalmology so this is the schedule tended to schedule okay so there is ample of time to revise for the subjects so best is make comprehensive materials for subjects rather than concise what about next step 2 so it will be a comprehensive practical or clinical examination it will evaluate competencies in clinical diagnosis patient examination clinical decision making and practical and communication skill necessary for the practice of modern medicine especially in india so so this examination will take place after the completion of internship students will be evaluated on seven subjects including medicine surgery obstetric gynecology pediatrics oto rhino laryngology ophthalmology and orthopedics also physical medicine and rehabilitation so these are the subjects the time schedule and modalities for next step 2 will be decided by nmc authorized universities or institutes prior to the admission process for post graduation medical courses many of us have one question what will happen to the batch prior to 2019 including interns and post interns so there is an option available if you are not confident about taking the neat pg 2024 examination you have the opportunity to appear for next step 1 by doing so you can secure a seat in 2025 after successfully completing next step 2 so this is not the official information but yes it is confirmed by nmc chairperson dr suresh now the next question is what will happen if you fail after next two so after next two if you fail 
you will attempt next two supplementary examination after two months so no need to give next one again no supplementary examination is there for batch prior to 2019 now the next question is what about neat pg 2024 so yes it will going to happen so distribution of knowledge and question based on knowledge here we have mcq items and distribution of percentage and level of knowledge so basically question paper will be around how much you know what you must know as final year medical student so this is the distribution of knowledge and question level okay so 90% of questions will be clinical type from final year and 10% questions will be from the first and second prop so study accordingly so mock test will be given by final year medical students no need to panic it just a mock test just a practice test right so registration will be start from 28th june and exam will be on 28th july okay and here we have some information so uh, here this is 28th july right registration from 28th june and this exam will be conducted by aims delhi as designated authority for next step one right only final year student can give this exam aim of such test is to familiarize the prospective candidate with the computer based test that is cbt interface and process the flow in the examination center the sample question paper practiced will only exemplify pattern and format of the next step one examination still they may not represent the complete next step one okay it can be different so this is not the complete next step one so here they given one disclaimer that is complete detail of next examination is being notified through regulation separately so anything contained or spoken in this presentation will be supersede such regulation okay so this is about the mock test so let's talk about the summary or we can say the timeline so you will give next one right if you pass the exam then you are eligible for internship but if you are fail then you will have to give next one again now you did your internship so after completion you can give next two so next two is after the completion of internship and if you pass the exam then you can have pg sit or you can get license for mbbs but if you are fail then there is exam after 2 months so you can give that exam if you are fail then you will have to give again next one actually this is not the supplementary exam it is the flexibility that allows candidate to choose the examination that aligns based with their individual circumstances so different institutes have different curriculum it provides them flexibility for the exam okay so this is the exam timeline it's very difficult for me to cover all the point in just 8 minute but yes i know that you have many questions in your mind so just comment this questions in comment section below and if you are still watching this video then yes you like this video and you can subscribe my channel thank you